Welcome. Today, or in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an email merge in Word. So we're bringing up a document here in Word, just a basic normal kind of document. And what I'm going to do is actually paste in some text that I have, which is the text that I want to use. We'll just put it in as text only. So what I want to do is an, a mail merge that has the name here. I'm just going to delete this off right now. Dear so-and-so, below is your bidder ID. And I want to just basically have a nice professional looking email that tells them uh, what their bidder ID is. So I need to email it to them. So what I need to do here, I've just created a new document. We're going to pop over here to mailings. I'm going to hit start mail merge and I need email messages. Then I need to select recipients. And let me note here, this may be a Mac issue, but it only works if I use CSV. So the original thing is right here. I just exported the just that sheet as a CSV file, and now it's in CSV format. So I'm going to hit open here. This usually works, so we're looking good. What I can do to check is just if I click here, I should see people in this list. It usually only shows a couple, but this is that's everybody I need. Um, hopefully you hopefully realize that there's this is not real data. But then what I need to do, so that's working. Um, this I never use, so we're not going to worry about that. Or this, yeah, this basic stuff. I'm going to insert merge field here. Make sure up here your ta your table show. I will note before if I did recipients and I had picked an Excel file that it shows the merge fields, but it doesn't let me finalize the merge or it doesn't even really work. So what I need to do is go ahead and click in. Here's going to be bidder ID. And so I'm going to insert merge field bidder ID for name. I'll just put the name and it seems good enough that you would say, yeah, dear name too. So I think we're okay here. It seems professional enough, but we're mostly just making a video to make sure we know how to do it. So here's again, email results. I can hit preview results. The thing about this though is we would be saying like, it's gonna be an email. And so, yeah, I mean, that's fine. That looks good. So in order for finish and merge to work right, see how it doesn't say merge to email, I have to actually go in and change my email client of all things. So I am a Mac user here and I use mail. And if I go in here into mail, into the mail preferences, this is where I need to change and put my, I'm gonna keep it off screen while I find it. I need to find the default mail um, client here. So it's actually in here. And there it is. So under email preferences, I need to change this to Outlook. And then I can close it. Right here, I should be able to do this. For now, I'm going to save this though, and we'll call this email merge. I'm going to pop it onto the desktop and hit save. And what I'm going to do is just exit out of here and then come back out Word. All right, so I switched to a, just a test that'll email it to myself, and I'm going to show you how the, the like the final process works here. So here I've got this is a different email. I'm sending an email of something that actually ends up going to my students. If you want to just notice here, like here's my name, but that's that's me. There better only be one recipient, and that's fine. I just did it a minute ago and kind of messed some stuff up by doing the wrong thing. So I'm going to hit merge to email. This is my finish and merge. The final thing you're going to do is you pick who it's being sent to. Here it's going to be to email. And here, like I would say something like, this is like, um, just a normal like subject. Um, I just found out if you do text, it, this and this, whatever format I've done here is messed up. So I'm picking uh, HTML message, and then you hit mail merge to Outlook. I have to have Outlook open, I think. And it goes ahead and dumps it into my email inbox. And I can bring up, I'm just going to show you like the corner here. This would save it to the outbox. And it went so fast that you didn't even see it. So the outbox would appear here with a whole bunch of people in it being emailed to. 
And then I'm going to, let's check our email here. Where am I, did it come here? I'm just gonna switch over here. And if I find, here's my sent box, and here's this. Let me open this up. Like this is what I just sent, and it, it's sent to myself, so that's exciting. I'll go back to my inbox, it should be right here, and it is, and there is my inbox. So there it is, my inbox, and we're super excited. So that's it.